coach coordinate your ties there? I mean, that's you know, I, that's what somebody else asked me. I, no, I, I've known George a long time, 30 years, I guess, but, but uh, I guess that says you're getting old. Not, not quite that long, about 25 years. Since you were babies. Yeah, not quite. I should say he was coach at De La Salle High School back in the early 80s, so I guess that's well, Coach, I guess the obvious first question here is uh, Kashif Watson's uh, little half quarter there, or three quarter quarter. Yeah, they just informed me as a number two um, play on Sports Center tonight. Uh, um, yeah, I didn't know for sure if he was going to shoot it or not. They took a couple dribbles and threw it in. It was, it was nice to have him make his first three pointer that way of the year. How about Luciano starting? Well, I did that for senior week. Um, you know, kind of Dean, this is senior week. Uh, uh, Luciano, hasn't, Luciano hasn't started a lot of games since he's been here. Uh, he will start again on uh, Saturday night, but it was more just for the, uh, you know, all the five seniors starting here this, this last week for senior week. He did a good job. He did. He played well. He rebounded the ball well. I thought his tip-ins early really helped us, uh, got us going. Um, and, um, you know, he didn't, didn't make a three-pointer tonight, but, but did a good job rebounding the basketball, you know, at eight points and seven rebounds and was very happy with his play. Coach, talking about the, uh, the first half on both ends of the floor, it went pretty well. And uh, you kind of saw the first half and then just how fitting it was for the Chiefs three at the end. Yeah, I thought we played uh, really well in the first half, especially defensively. I thought we did a great job on Adrian Oliver. I thought Mac did an excellent job the first little bit. Uh, kind of got a cheap foul there to start the game and then got a charging foul. Uh, but then uh, Sean Henderson came in and did a very nice job on him. And I, I think that was really the difference in the first half. And then Marvin played very well in the first half. Uh, I don't know how many points he had, maybe eight or ten in the first half, and uh, but he had three big charges. Uh, I thought he changed the whole flow of the game in the first half, and, and that's a, a tribute to him, and, and you got to give him the credit. He's been really playing well these last three weeks of the year. Clinch a spot in the WAC uh, tournament here with this win tonight. Yeah, we did, and that's great. We, uh, we live to play on, you know, and I told our guys our March Madness has already started. So, uh, uh, you know, we got to do – everything we can to, to beat Hawaii on Saturday and then get ready to go play next week. But uh, first things first, uh, let's get ready to beat Hawaii on Saturday. I asked the Chief to comment, and I'll ask you to, about playing more in control, offensively taking better care of the ball and not running up and down and making a lot of shots. They're a good tempo. But... Yeah, yeah, I thought our offense, that's a very good uh, evaluation. I thought our offensive patience was as good as it's been in a long time. I thought we did a great job moving our ball versus the zone, especially early. Uh, we got the ball to the open guy, and we were fortunate enough to make some shots. Uh, but I agree with you. I thought our offensive patience, our offensive tempo was very good tonight. And, um, you know, I thought we played really well in the first half. Uh, and and you got to give them credit. They're, they're, they can score their ball in a number of different ways. And, and they came out to start the second half and banged it inside, and they made some threes later in the half. Uh, they're a hard guard. And um, I can't tell you how happy we are. We, we are to come out with a victory. What was kind of going on there in the second half? Did people lose some assignments? Or? Yeah, we missed a few assignments. Uh, you know, human nature, I thought we let down a little bit. Uh, you know, I, 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 we turned it over a few opportune times, took a couple bad shots, and, and they made us pay. Uh, but I thought, our, I thought our guys did a good job. I think it got to nine. I, I thought we did a good job of, uh, of executing our delay game. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job of making free throws. Not quite as good as I'd like, but we made a few down the stretch that helped us extend that lead. Were you, I'm sure you're always a little bit nervous, but did you still feel pretty secure that the game was going to be? No, game? not until the horn sounded. Okay. The way they can shoot it and the way they can get it going with, with Robert Owen and uh, Adrian Oliver, uh, you know, I think Owen made all his three-pointers in the second half, didn't he? Did he make three in the second half, I think? Uh, and then uh, Oliver made all his in the second half. I mean, they made seven three-pointers in the second half. Uh, they, they are powerful. They can really shoot that. I think they're 10th in the country in three-pointers. Is that right? Eighth. Eighth in the country and three-point field goal percentage offense. So, you, you know, I, I never felt comfortable until the final horn sounded or until George let us run it out there the last 22 seconds or whatever. I might have missed this, but could you, can you comment on your uh, <coughs> post-play inside around the basket on offense in the first, first 15 minutes? Well, I thought we did a good job, you know, and I thought that's where we had an advantage tonight with uh, them starting small compared to the way they did at San Jose. I, I thought we had to attack them inside and get Oaks and – and uh, 
and Webster and Faltrow. I thought we did a good job of that. And I thought Marvin did a great job scoring his ball down there. Toledo, Toledo didn't score, score down there, but I thought he was a presence in there. And then Luciano made a couple um, shots down around the basket, which, which I thought was our advantage tonight. And, and they did a good job. Our big guys did a good job in the first half. Part of that discipline that you're talking about also seemed to extend to, to shot selection. No question. No question. And, and I thought we did a good job with our patience and our shot selection tonight. Uh, I thought we moved the ball very well. And uh, that's what we worked on the last two days of practice. It was good to see it happen. Don, was Ledbetter hurt? Or? Nope. He wasn't hurt. I thought, you know, I, I, I never go in deciding who I'm going to play and who I'm not going to play. But I thought the group we had out there in the first half was really playing well together. And I just didn't want to stop the run. Um, you know, I thought they played very well together. I thought Sean Henderson came in and gave us some good minutes. Um, so uh, I just just went that way tonight. Um, I, I, to tell you the truth, I didn't realize he didn't play until you mentioned it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just talk about the significance of this win in terms of kind of snapping the slump that you guys have been in the last uh, couple months and getting some momentum going back down. It's huge. Month. It gets us in the WAC tournament. I mean, you know, it'd have been, there would have been a lot of pressure on Saturday's game if we hadn't won this game. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge win. Uh, I couldn't be prouder of our seniors. They've done a great job since they've been here. 31 wins is, you know, the most uh, two-year win total in about 18 years, I think, right, Spencer? Yeah. 18 years. Uh, you know, and they've battled all year. And, and you know, it, this year hasn't gone perfect, but they've found a way to fight and, and continue to fight. They haven't given up. And, and, you know, you get a win and maybe get a little momentum going in the WAC tournament. And, and as we all know, anything can happen, whether you get a, a Nevada, New Mexico State, uh, um, a La Tech. We've proven we can play each, each and every one of those teams close. And now it's, now it's our turn to get a victory. Okay, so. Anything else? One thing I would like to add is, is I'd appreciate you guys putting something in there uh, in the paper about uh, I need the fans' help this game, this next game. I, I think um, – Moscow, our students, they just, our, our, our seniors deserve them coming out and supporting this team. Um, uh, th this, this senior team has, has brought a lot, of, a lot of respect to Vandal basketball, and uh, I would really appreciate it and ask for their help coming out to the game because uh, we need it, those guy, and those guys deserve it. So, um, you know, I think I, I read a, a thing that Spencer wrote that we've had 16 televised games, and and we wouldn't have got those many games if we wouldn't have had a success last year. And I uh, would appreciate all of them coming out and supporting us for this for this senior night game. It's at 5 o'clock, right? 5 o'clock on Saturday. So, good.